President Trump blaming China for stalling U.S. nuclear talks with North Korea. The president says Beijing is undermining American diplomacy because of its trade war with the White House. Joining us now, Niall Gardner, director of the Margaret Thatcher Center at the Heritage Foundation. Uh, Niall, the president obviously unhappy with China. Are they the problem here? Well, I think the key problem with regard to the North Korea issue is the North Korean uh, regime. And the reality is that uh, despite the, the summit earlier in the summer in Singapore, no real progress has been made in terms of disarming the North Korean regime. We have not seen any significant concessions coming from uh, Pyongyang. Uh, the China trade issue here is entirely separate, I think, from the North Korean issue. There's no real direct correlation between the two of the two matters. Of course, the North Koreans, of course, are, you know, collaborating with China on many economic fronts. Far more can and should be done by the U.S. administration in terms of sanctioning uh, not only North Korean entities and companies, but also uh, Chinese entities that are doing business with the North Koreans. Uh, so that should be the real focus, I think, in terms of uh, Trump's talk about, about China. Uh, but the trade issue, the, the so-called trade war, between Beijing and Washington, that I don't think really factors at all into the broader North Korean matter. But over at the State Department, the spokeswoman there, uh, Heather Nauert, is, is saying that China should be living up to its obligations. Listen. We say this about many other countries around the world, that certain countries, all countries, can do more. Uh, to adhere to sanctions. We would expect China, just like other countries, to adhere to the UN Security Council resolutions that it too voted for. You're suggesting that the, the problem lies not in Beijing, but in Pyongyang. Well, I think that uh, Beijing certainly is part of the bigger problem with regard to North Korea, but I don't think the US uh, Chinese trade war issue actually. Uh, directly relates to the North Korean uh, matter. But what the State Department is saying here, of course, is, is absolutely right. We do need to see more action being taken by China in terms of reining in the North Korean regime. But at the same time, far more needs to be done by the Trump administration in terms of sanctioning North Korean entities and also Chinese entities as well. There are 12 Chinese banks, for example, that have been listed by the U.S. Congress as uh, targets for U.S. sanctions. Those sanctions have not been implemented yet. And so we need to see a far more aggressive approach being taken by the Trump administration with regard to sanctioning North Korean and Chinese and also Russian entities as well that are doing business with the North Korean uh, regime. But certainly uh, Beijing is a big part of the overall uh, problem. But the suggestion that the Chinese are acting in a difficult fashion simply because of the trade issue. That, I think, is, is certainly not, uh, not correct at all. China has its own uh, reasons, of course, for, uh, for being difficult on the North Korean uh, front. Uh, but I don't think that is related to the, uh, the, the trade uh, battle between Washington and Beijing at this time. What about this divergence between what he and his defense secretary have said about the possibility of future war games with the South Koreans and the Japanese? Defense Secretary Mattis said there was no reason to cancel them. The president said, oh, it's pretty expensive and we might not want to do it. What does that say to North Korea? Well, I think it sends mixed messaging. I think it undermines, actually, uh, the U.S. Uh, stance towards uh, North Korea. It's vitally important, I think, that all branches of the executive branch are coordinating the messaging. Uh, and I think that General Mattis is absolutely uh, right that in terms of U.S. military exercises, the United States uh, must be uh, prepared to implement those on an ongoing uh, basis. They are vitally important uh, to the long-term defense of South Korea. Any suggestion that there could be a long-term suspension of these exercises, I think, fundamentally undermines uh, the security of, of South Korea, undermines the uh, the U.S.-South Korean uh, position. Uh, and let's not forget that North Korea remains an absolutely deadly threat to South Korea. Uh, and being prepared to implement uh, military exercises between the United States and South Korea, absolutely vital. I think the message sent by the Defense Secretary was absolutely uh, the right one. Uh, we must be on our guard. We must be extremely vigilant. And so far, of course, uh, since the... Uh, the Singapore summit, the North Koreans have not demonstrated uh, any evidence whatsoever 
that they are prepared to denuclearize or that yeah. they are willing to reduce the military threat to well, South Korea. That's why it seems so strange that the president seemed to take his foot off the gas in suggesting that he doesn't want to pursue any future war games with South Korea because the, the North Koreans really hate those. They, they really don't like us getting together with other allies in the region. So, so why not keep the pressure on? Yeah, ab absolutely. I, I think that the idea of suspending military exercises between the United States and South Korea, this sends the wrong message, actually, uh, and it has a lot of risks involved in that, in that strategy. Um, and it's absolutely vital, I think, that uh, the United States increases the pressure, enhances the pressure on the North Korean regime. We have seen some backpedaling, I think, from the Trump administration over the past a few months on the North Korean front. We need to see a significantly more aggressive posture being taken. The posture uh, being taken by the United States with regard to Iran has been extremely strong and robust. Uh, we do need to see that approach matched, I think, on the North Korean uh, front. And we need to see far more sanctions being implemented against uh, the North Korean mm. regimes and, and, and those uh, who, who continue to do business with North Korea, including, of course, uh, China and Russia. We will continue to watch it very closely. Niall Gardner, the director of the Thatcher Center at the Heritage Foundation. Thanks, Niall.